नहीं चांद सूरज दिन रात है रे नहीं चांद सूरज दिन रात है रे के नहीं
गुड मॉर्निंग ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स बॉयज़ एंड गर्ल्स सॉरी फॉर द डिले इन आर कमिंग टू योर स्क्रीन्स ड्यू टू सम इंटरनेट इश्यूज द डिवोशनल सॉन्ग दैट यू जस्ट हर्ड इन द वेरी पावरफुल वॉइस ऑफ करुणा दीदी वॉज वॉट द डिवोटी डिस्कवर्स विद द आईज क्लोज it's with the eyes closed either literally or uh, figuratively by looking within that one discovers the higher reality that is the paradox of uh, life what we see with the eyes open is of course real but uh, something that is changing and uh, inconstant perishable it is with the those eyes turned off when one is looking within that one discovers the imperishable everlasting constant absolute reality and then one discovers that all what one can see be it the sun and the moon or the day and the night they are all in fact different forms of that everlasting reality today we have with us uh, to give you a practical class uh, vidya mundra Vidya did uh, the course on teaching yoga here with us in the ashram in the year 2017 and following that uh, she has uh, completed all the requirements a residential course an intensive residential course uh, followed followed by teaching assistantships at the Sivananda School of Yoga at uh, Rishikesh and of course throughout this period since she graduated from here in the year 2017 she has been uh, teaching in the ashram as well as uh, in her own studio which she has set up yoga vidya and uh, we are lucky to have her here apart from being a yoga teacher she is also a dancer and a painter and has a very good knowledge of the italian language so she is a multifaceted personality and i'm sure you'll enjoy her class as all her students do Welcome to your Vidya Studio and the Ashram and Yes Course. Here we are for our physical practices. So this is a comfortable cross-leg position. Any watches, any hair clips, you are required to remove them for your practices. Make sure there is nothing around you that could hurt you while you do your practice. Close your eyes. Place your palms on your knees, palms facing upwards. Be comfortable. Bring your entire focus just towards your breath, and listen to the rhythm of your breathing. This arm is devoted completely towards your body and your mind. Let us start with simple Om chanting. Taking your hands in Chin Mudra, joining the tip of your thumb and your index finger. Make sure that your chin is parallel to the floor and there is no kind of stress in your neck. Take a deep inhalation to the room. Um, 
Inhale deeply from Vibrations of your own thinking. Feel the vibration through your body. Let us start with simple breathing practices. Simple inhalation and exhalation. Please observe that when you inhale, your abdomen should move out as if you have filled in air in a balloon. As we say, your abdomen should move towards your spine completely inside. To observe this, you may place your palms on your abdomen and just simply observe your abdomen moving out and in. Once you take pain completely, inhale on one, on two, on three, on four. Exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, five, on six. Inhale on one, on two, on three, on four. Exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six. Inhale on one, on two, on three, on four. Exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six. Inhale on one, on two, on three, on four. Exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six. One last time. Inhale on one, on two, on three, on four. Exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on six. Breathe your hands and long lives your hands. Now that we know how to inhale and to exhale, let us increase and use the capacity of our lungs in a better way. This practice is also known as the yogic breathing. When you start to inhale, you fill up your abdomen first, then taking more air towards your chest, and finally, expanding your shoulders. When you exhale, your shoulders come down first, releasing all the air from your chest area, and then finally your abdomen. Once again, imagine a balloon that you blow. So first, the air is filled up in the bottom. Then it goes up and then on the top. But when it releases, it releases from the top, then down, and finally, bottom. Once again, close your eyes. Bring the focus in. If you wish, you can once again place your palms on your abdomen. Take a deep inhalation, expanding and bloating your abdomen. Filling the air in your chest, opening up your chest, and finally expanding your shoulders. Next. Exhale gently, releasing the air from your clavicle, from your chest, and finally abdominal goes in. Inhale, expanding the abdomen. Now your chest and your shoulder. Exhale, releasing from the shoulder. 
Now chest and find the abdominal. Inhale. Bend your down. Open up your chest, expand it, and shoulder. Exhale, release from the shoulder first. Your chest goes in and your tongue moves towards the spine. Inhale, bring up your tongue, opening up your chest and expand the shoulder. Exhale, release it. Coming down the chest and your tongue goes in. One last time, inhale, fill in the air in your abdomen as much as possible, taking it up towards your chest and your shoulders expand. Exhale, gently release from your shoulder first, then your abdomen, from the chest, and finally abdomen. Release and relax. Normalize your breath. Just feel the effect of your breathing. Observe that you were breathing in a correct way, a correct manner. Mentally preparing yourself for physical practices. Rock your thoughts. Nothing strong, medium, real, nice, warm. Hug your eyes. Feeling the warmth of your palms on your eyes. Opening your eyes with a few wings, spread the warmth all over your body. And welcome. Let us start with joint opening exercises. So stretch your legs in front of you. If you are unable to sit straight with your spine straight, it is fine. You can take support of your palms and relax. Good. Getting ready for the opening up of our toes. So bringing your toes in and out. Pull them in nicely and out. In and out. One last time. In, stay there for two breaths, and out, relax, stretching our ankles, so bring down your feet as much as possible, you can also use your hands if you want to bring down, if you feel that your hands can reach there, and in, out, and in, out and in. One last time. Out and in. Let us rotate our ankles. So bring them down towards your right. Up, left, down, right, up, left, down, right, up. Left and let's go reverse. Left, up, right, down, left, up, right, down. One last time. Left, up, right, and down. Hold your right knee. Grab hold of your right thigh, making sure that you do not hold from the knee, just your thigh. Stretch your leg out, so almost two to three inches above the mat. Bringing your leg in as you exhale. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, rotate towards your chest and try to make your spine straight. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, in. One last time. Inhale, stretch, and exhale, in. Keeping it closer to your chest, just stretch up. 
your calf is parallel to the floor. And let's try to rotate and work on our knees. One. When you come down, point your toes down. And when you come up, flex your feet. Two. Three. Let us reverse. One. Two. And three. Once again, bring your toe closer to your chest. And breathe. Holding your left, grab hold of your thigh, stretch your leg out as you inhale, exhale, when you take, press towards your chest, inhale, exhale, in, inhale, exhale, in, pulling your spine up and tall, lift up, your calf. Parallel to the mat and let's rotate. One, two, three, and reverse. One, two, pointing your toes down and one, three. Bring it closer to your chest and release. Relax your thighs. So just shake them to relax. Very nice. Now you can sit in Sukhasana or comfortable cross leg position, whichever you like. So Sukhasana is bringing your heel closer to your groin and the other heel in front of the one inside. So you are not putting your foot up but it is down. Sitting comfortable cross leg. Let us work on our middle body. So let us stretch our chest out, pushing our lower back, arching it, and your neck up. Exhale. Roll your shoulders. Roll your spine, bring your neck down and move your stomach inwards. Once again, inhale, push your abdomen out, your chest out, arching your spine, squeezing your shoulder blade and lifting your neck up. Exhale, roll your shoulders in. Your upper back rolled, making a nice sound. Abdomen moving in. And your chin cut. One more time. Inhale, open up. Roll yourself. Pushing your chest forward. Exhale, reverse. Come in. Getting into a cocoon. Come back center. Please. Gently let us rotate our entire body. So moving down. Move down as much as you are comfortable with. Towards your right. Moving up. Towards your left. Moving down. Making a nice circle. Back, left, and down. Reverse. Move down. Down to left. And gently come up. Come back center. Let's work on our shoulders now. Lift your shoulders up and roll them back, squeezing your shoulder blades. Up, roll them back, squeezing your shoulder blades. Up, roll them back, squeezing your shoulder blades. Now let's do the opposite. So take them up, 
and roll your shoulders in front. Up, roll them in front. Up, and roll them in front. Relax. Pull your shoulders towards your ears, shrug them. Shrug, shrug, shrug. And drop. Shrug your shoulders one more time up. And drop. One last time, shrug your shoulders. And drop. Good. Let us place our fingers joined together over our shoulders and try to join your elbows together if possible. If not, then this is also fine. Let us do our rotation. So try to rotate. Inhale when you go up. Exhale when you come down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. One last time. Inhale up. Exhale down. Let's do reverse. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One last time. Inhale. And exhale. Drop. Relax. Let us soothe our neck region now. Turning your neck towards the right. Back center. Towards the left. Back center. Towards the right. Back center. You can take your gaze along with your neck towards the left. Back center. Towards the right. Center. And towards the left. Come back. Center. Moving our neck up and down. Gently. Slow movement. Up. If you have cervical issues, then please do not bring your neck completely down. You can bring it a little down. Also, people with vertical, please do not bring your neck completely down. Gently take it up. And down. Up. And down. One last time, up and down. Come back center, relax. We shall be moving our neck downwards, which means bringing your ear towards your shoulder. Be very sure that you do not lift your shoulder to bring them closer to each other. Shoulders are very relaxed. Your palms on your knees, comfortable. Let's bend towards the right. Come back center. Towards the left. Come back center. If you find it difficult, you can also support with your hand, but do not press. This is only to give you direction. So you can also try doing this. If you find the other one, it will be difficult. And back center, one last time, right, back center, and left, come back center, let us do our neck rotation, once again, people with cervical or vertigo, while you are doing your neck rotation, please do not go down completely, so let's start with down, Right, up, left. You can choose to keep your eyes open or close in this. Down, right, up, left, down, right, up, 
left and down, reverse, left, up, right, down, left, up, right, down, left, up, right, and down. Come up gently, release. Relax yourself. You've been sitting in cross leg for a while, so if you want, stretch your legs and relax your thighs. Mentally preparing yourself for a few other sitting asanas. Just relax. Good. Let us do simple, simple asana today. So bringing your right foot inside, closer to your inner thigh left. Try if you can touch your heel with the glory. Your spine up straight and tall as if somebody is pulling you from the top. Interlock your fingers and stretch your arms up. Keep pulling yourself, lengthening your spine. Bringing your ears and your shoulder, or sorry, arms in one straight line and your chin parallel to the floor. Do not drop your neck. Keep it up. In line with your spine. Take a deep inhalation now. As you exhale, bend forward and down. Here the idea is to bring your chest down instead of your head down. So just bend forward down. As for your own capacity, do not push yourself too hard. Clear and breathe. Anytime that you are holding a posture, remember not to hold your breath. Inhale, stretch your arms forward and gently come up. Exhale, release your arms. Good. Stretch your right out. Taking your left in. Once again, making your spine straight and tall. The tendency is that your body will be turning towards the foot that is folded. So bring your body to the center. Interlock your fingers, stretch your arms up, putting yourself tall. Take a deep inhalation, exhale, bend forward, down. Once again, the idea is to bring your chest down as much as you can. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Take two deep breaths. Inhale, stretch your arms forward and gently come up. Exhale, release your arms down. Relax. Stretch both your legs in front of you. Interlock your fingers. Once again, stretch your arms up, pull yourself tall. Tall, 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 tall. Exhale. Now bend forward down. Get into your Pachimottanasana. Bring your chest down. Do not drop your head. Do not drop your neck. Your neck is in line with your spine. And you're just moving your chest up. Trying to press your knees towards the mat. Inhale, stretch your arms forward and up. Exhale, release. Very nice. You are supposed to be the counter pose now. In time plank. <coughs> Taking your arms back. So placing your palms closer to your body. 
palms facing inwards, which is your fingertips are towards your hips. Good. Inhale, pushing your back backwards. Lift your hip up, trunk up, and drop your neck. Exhale, release, come down. For people who are not able to stretch their legs and come down, fold your knees. This is a variation for the others who are not supposed to do the entire thing. Fold your knees and then lift your hip up, shrunk up, drop your neck. Exhale, come down. And release. Getting ready for the spinal twist. You may choose to keep your legs straight or you may choose to fold whichever way you like. Fold your right knee. Bring your right foot across outside your left. Take your left palm and grab hold of your right knee, turning your upper body towards the right, stretch your right, left palm up, pull yourself tall, 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 as tall as you can, and now gently bring your palm at the center of your spine, further twisting towards your right and looking back. Keep holding here and breathe. Inhale gently, bring your right arm up. Exhale, come in the center, releasing your arm, release your leg and stretch your leg in front of you. Let's do it the other side. Hold your left knee, bring your left foot across, placing it just beside your right knee. Take your right arm and grab hold of your knee, bringing your knee inwards. Stretch your left arm up, pull yourself tall first, and gently bring your palm down. Turning your upper body towards the left, try to look back and breathe. Remember not to hold your breath. Inhale gently, bring your left arm up. Exhale, release. Release your right leg and relax. You simply relax your Good. Let us sit in our Vajrasana. So taking your left in, fold your knee. Fold your right knee. And you're sitting on your hips. Good. So your heels and your hips are touching each other. Just gently place your palm on your knees, making your spine straight and tall. Sit in this asana for three deep breaths. This is a very great Udhasana for your position. Let us get on to our four limbs. Cat and cow position. So to go there, measure your elbows, which means bring your elbows closer to your knee, placing your palm. Now taking a distance of one palm ahead, 
Just get onto your knee. Bring your knee hip width apart. Your arms are shoulder width apart. Spread your palms, which means spread your fingers nicely. Now here you can notice that your knees and your hip are in one straight line. Your wrist and your shoulder is in one straight line. Good. Gently opening up your chest, drop your lower back, making a nice arch in your back. Stretch your neck up as you inhale deeply coming into calf. Exhale. Roll yourself up. Make a nice hump. Roll your shoulders. Squeeze your abdomen. Bring your neck down. Tuck in your chin. Inhale once again. Pushing your chest out, arching your lower back, bringing your neck up. Exhale, getting your bars into your calf. One last time, inhale. Exhale, get your your cat again. Keep pushing your shoulders upwards, your upper back rolled. And come back center. Good. Now, from here, if you want to challenge yourself, take your right leg out and back. Come back. Inhale, take your left out. And spin it. Exhale, come down. Gently pushing yourself into child pose. Relax. Bring your head down, chest down. Relax your arms. Your hips and your heels are touching each other. Take deep breaths as you relax. Good. Now gently lift your head up, chest up. Slide yourself forward. To lie down on your stomach, making pillow of your palms, placing it under your forehead, gently placing your forehead on your palms, your big toes together and heels apart, lie down in Makarasana. Relax. Mentally preparing yourself. For the throne postures. Good, getting ready. Stretch your arms in front of you. Forehead on the mat. Toes pointing out and your feet are hip width apart. As you inhale, lift your head up, chest up, your right arm up and your left leg up. Exhale, gently come down once again, placing your forehead on the mat. Inhale, lifting your head up, chest up. Your left arm up and your right leg up. Three. Exhale. Down. One more time. Inhale. Your head up, chest up. Right arm up and left leg up. 
Placing your once again, making pillow of your palms, big toes together, heels apart, getting into Madarasana. This time, place any of your cheek on your palms and relax. Externalizing your awareness once again. Stretching your arms one more time in front of you. Placing your forehead on the mat. Take a deep inhalation. Lift both your arms up and both your legs up. We breathe Shalabhasana. Exhale, gently come down. One more time, inhale, up. Head up, chest up, arms up, and your legs up. Exhale, down. Making pillow of your palm. Come to Makarasana. This time, placing your other cheek over your palms. Slow down your breath and relax. Slowly, bring your feet together, placing your forehead on the mat. Bring your palms just under your shoulder so that your fingertip and your shoulders are in one straight line. Take a deep inhalation. Lift your hip up, sorry, lift your head up, chest up. And getting into your Bhujangasana or your Cobra pose. Keep breathing here. Don't hold your breath. Try to bring your knees along the mat. Exhale. Gently come down. We are going to repeat it one more time. Inhale, lift your head up, chest up. If you are very uncomfortable with bringing your feet together, you can stretch them a little apart. And this time, try to stretch yourself a little more higher up. Lifting off your knee. Take two deep breaths here. Exhale. Gently down. Making pillow of your palms. Get into your Makarasana and slow down your breath. Bring back your awareness. Turn and lie down on your back. Your feet apart, hands away from your body. 
Make sure there is no stress in your neck. Let us mentally prepare ourselves for the supine postures. Slowly bring your feet together, interlock your fingers, stretch your arms over and above your head, giving yourself nice tall stretch. And just hold this posture, keep breathing. Pull yourself tall as if somebody is pulling you from both the ends. Exhale, release, bring your arms down, arms down. So your arms by your side, arms facing down. We are going to do single leg raises first. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale. Gently bring it down. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, down. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, down. Inhale, left up. Exhale down. And last time, inhale right up. Grab hold of your right thumb. Make sure that you are not holding and locking your knee. So you have to hold from your thigh. Take a deep inhalation. As you exhale, lift your head up, chest up. Try to walk your hands up towards your ankle and hold. Breathe. Take deep breaths. Inhale. Gently. Bring your hands down. Your chest down. Head down. And Bring the legs up. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Grab hold of your left thigh. Keep pulling your thigh and your leg towards your chest. Now take a deep inhalation. As we exhale, lift your head up. Chest up to walk your hands up towards your ankle and hold. Try to press your right knee towards the mat. If you find it too difficult, hold your knee. Keep breathing. Two deep breaths here. Exhale. Gently. Bring your head down, chest up. Relax. Very nice, getting ready for a uh, Mukhtasana. Fold your right knee, bring your knee closer to your chest. Interlock your palms and bring your knee more further down towards your chest. Take a deep inhalation. As you exhale, lift your head up, chest up. Trying to bring your chin, nose, or forehead, whatever possible, towards your knees. Exhale. 
Exhale, gently bring your head down, chest down. Release your hands and stretch your legs out. Holding your left knee, bringing your left knee closer to your chest. Interlock your fingers and press your knee more towards your chest. Stay here. Take a deep inhalation. As you exhale, lift your head up, chest up. Two persons. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. Exhale, gently bring your head down, chest down, and release your legs. Getting into Sentu Pandasana or the Bridge Pose. Hold your knees, your feet hip width apart, your knees hip width apart, arms by your side and palms facing down. On a deep inhalation, lift your hip up, trunk up, as high up as possible. If you feel that you are not able to lift your hip, up, you can support your hip with your hands. Exhale, gently come down. Stretch your legs out. Getting ready for the fish pose or Matsya Asana, which is a counter pose for the stretches that we've done right now. So bring your palms under your body as much as that your elbows also move under your body. Palms facing down. Bring your feet together and try to point your toes out. Now, Take a deep inhalation, lift your head up, chest up. Try to look towards your toes. And as you exhale, drop your crown back, opening up your chest. If you like, you can place your crown on the mat, but make sure that there is no pressure. Extend, open up. Inhale, bringing your head up, leg up, gently bring your chest down, head down, hold your knees to release your arms, and relax. Slowly bring your feet together, interlock your fingers, stretch your arms over and above your head, giving yourself nice tall stretch, 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 stretch. Exhale, release. Gently turn towards one side, taking support of your palms. Sit up. And sit in Vajra Asana. Now let us get up for our standing positions. Placing your palm down, tuck your toes, and gently pushing your hip back, coming into forward bend position. 
leaving your arms loose. Little time, slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, come up, bringing your head up in the edge. Relax, feet apart, hands away from your body. Let us mentally prepare ourselves for the standing poses. Getting ready for simple Tadasana first. So bring your feet together. Interlock your fingers. Stretch your arms over and above your head. And keep pulling yourself to hold. Inhale, let somebody is putting you from both the ends. Your ears and your arms are in one straight line. If you wish, you can get onto your toes and balance. Exhale, gently come down. Let us do some balancing now. Simple balance just to teach our body how we can control and balance ourselves. So if you want to balance on your left foot, spread the toes nicely and place your foot nicely on the mat. Now taking your right leg up, just simply up. Arms by your side, palms just down, relaxed. Shoulder relaxed, just your right leg up, trying to bring your thigh parallel to the mat. Hold. And slowly bring it down. The other one. Other side. Gently come down. Getting into our Vrikshasana or the tree pose. Pull your right knee, bring your right foot on your inner thigh. As for your own capacity, if you feel that you're not able to hold it here, you can keep it here, 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 where. Find your balance here. Once you feel that you are good to balance, hold your palms in Namaskar Mudra in front of your chest center. Once you feel this is fine, stretch your arms over and above your head. Once again, in Namaskar and hold. Gently. Pull your arm down, release your hands, and release your leg. Getting on with our left. So your left foot placed on the inner thigh of the right side. Find your balance and join your palms in front of your chest center. And Namaskar Mudra. Stretch your arms up. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. Gently bring your arms down. Release and release. Good, getting ready for the triangle pose, the corner asana. Bring your feet apart. More than a little hip width apart. Arms by your side. Inhale, lift your right leg, hand up. Turn, palms facing upwards. And take your arm up. As you exhale, bend towards your left. 
opening up your chest, opening up your arms, and try to look up towards the ceiling. Inhale, come back center. As we say, bring your arms down, arm down. Left side, inhale, stretch your arms, turn your palm and take it up. As you exhale, bend towards the right, opening up your chest, trying to look up towards the ceiling. Inhale, gently come up. Exhale, release and bring your arms down. Good. Let us get into our final relaxation. So getting onto the top of your mat. You have the choice that you can be on your foot or you can come on your toes if you want to challenge yourself. Stretching your arms in front of you. With a count of 10, let's come down. Om 10, Om 9, Om 8, Om 7, Om 6, Om 5, Om 4, Om 3, Om 2, Om 1. Gently sit down and lie down for final relaxation. Your feet, one and a half to two feet apart. Hands 45 degrees away from body. Toes falling out. Arms facing upwards and the nose naturally curled in. Chin a little tucked in so that there is no kind of stress in your neck. Slowing down your breath. Bring all your focus in the breath. Reflect on all the asanas that have been done today. All the stretches that you have gone through today. Let, let us relax each and every part of our body. Through my verbal instructions, or to suggest your body parts to relax. Relaxing my feet, my feet are relaxed. I'm relaxing my ankles, my ankles are relaxed. I'm relaxing my shin, calf, ankle pads, my knees, my shin, my calf, my knees, and my eyes are relaxed. I'm relaxing my pelvic. My hip joints and my hips. My belly, my hip joints, and my hips are relaxed. I'm relaxing my lower back, my middle back, and my upper back. My back. Is relaxed. I'm relaxing my abdomen, my diaphragm, and my chest. My abdomen, the diaphragm, 
Spread my chest. Oh, relax. I'm relaxing my shoulder, my neck, my arms, and my bones. My shoulder, my neck, my arms, and my bones. Oh. Relax. I'm relaxing all my facial muscles, all my internal organs, all my facial muscles, and all my internal organs are relaxed. I'm surrendering all my worries, my anxiety, any kind of negative feeling, giving it away to the mother. I'm full of happiness, joy, love. Light, peace, good health, and positivity. Relax. <coughs> Sorry. Externalizing for awareness. Gently move your toes and fingers. Slowly bring your feet together. Interlock your fingers. Stretch your arms over and above your head, giving yourself. Nice, tall, stretch, 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 stretch. Exhale, release. Gently, turning towards one side. <coughs> Center. Taking support of your palms, slowly sit up. Sit in comfortable cross leg position. Hands closed. Let us close with an inch chant. In your hands, palms stay facing upwards, place on your knees. Inhale deeply for all. Opening your eyes with a few things, let the warmth all over your body. Blessing yourself and expressing the gratitude to our master, the Almighty. 
Thank you all very much. Hope you all enjoyed this session. I am really sorry for the uh, coughing. Take care of yourselves and be good. Wish come. Thank you, Vidya. Uh, we'll now take up questions, but in the meantime, if you like, you can go and have a few sips of water. Vidya, based on today's class. Okay, do we have any questions? So far, there are no questions. Uh, say something. All right. If there are no more questions, then uh, we can end today's session. Thank you, Vidyadi, for uh, joining us. Tomorrow we will have this opportunity. <clears throat> thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, we end with the music. And tomorrow's class will be on stress management. So see you all on the same time. Thank you once again, everyone. Thank mm -hmm. you.
Oh, uh-huh.